What up, y'all? It's T-Biz here, and I got some comic pickups. I hadn't been uh, to the comic shop in a while. I was pretty much kind of done for a while. But um, the sweet and lovely Aiden at uh, Dragon's Lair gave me a call, and she's real cool about me still picking up my stuff. And they're always willing to be cool because they want to make their money. So I went and picked up my books. And I'm also joined by my good brothers, Brian Starner of Toy Nuts and Overlord of Toy Reviews. Say hi, guys. <laughs> I think Brian got up to go do something. Anyways, it'll be here. But um, yeah, here's the books. I picked up Birthright number ten, which uh, I still love. Birthright, still want to keep reading it. Uh, we're well, gonna start catching up on my GI Joes because what I've been doing is uh, I went through all my Exo Man of Wars, read all those. Really good, by the way. If you're sick of Iron Man, read Valiant's um, Exo Man of War. Good stuff. Um, picked up GI Joe 216 because I'm gonna catch up on all that. And then I picked up uh, G.I. Joe 217, which has got a pretty cool cover, which is, uh, this is Cobra Rising Part 2, and it's uh, got Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow and Timber on the cover, which is pretty cool. And then I've been reading um, Outcast, which is a good book, which is by Kirkman, Robert Kirkman, who does um, uh, Walking Dead. And if you like Walking Dead, I think you'd really like Outcast, because Outcast is opposite of Walking Dead. It's not zombies, it deals more with possession. You know, something that might be real to some people and might not, you know. But anyways, um, cool book. Really good book. Really good art. Just really good stuff. And I think I'm missing one issue out of this. I might be missing issue 10, so I'm going to have to go hunt that down. But I got 9, 11, and then I got number 12. So can't wait to catch up on these. Even the covers. If you just look at the covers of these books, they're just good. And then I've got uh, Stray Bolts number 7 for Sunshines and Roses. This is a really good book, but I would say adults only because... It's pretty graphic and pretty gnarly. It's, it's a look at the seedier side of Americana, I guess. And uh, Stray Bullets number six of Sunshine and Roses, the story. And um, pretty cool. Good stuff. Can't wait to read those. And um, got Kanan, the Padawan, number four. This is another good Star Wars book. If you like Rebels, you like this book a lot because it's uh, the early stories of a Kanan when he was a Padawan. And then I got Star Wars issue number seven, because I'm not going to give up on Star Wars, because even if I have to start cutting back to save for a car, I still pick up my Star Wars. But yeah, looks like Obi-Wan on the cover with on the in the background, and then I guess what he's in the foreground or whatever, it'd be a bunch of weird baddies. So or who knows who these guys are, but they look cool. And then I got Star Wars number eight. Looks pretty cool. Looks like a really ticked off Luke with a bunch of blasters pointed at him. And then Star Wars number nine, which is another good pickup because um, on the spoiler alert on the cover, I guess this is Solo's wife at one point on the cover. He's married. So, and then uh, Darth Vader number eight, which is really good, and um, recommend that also. And Darth Vader number nine, really cool cover. Just good, good book, man. All the Star Wars books are good. They're all great. And then we got, let me see, we got Lando, let me see, Lando number two, which is uh, Soul, Maliv, and Mounts, and Soul, man, he's, or, I can't remember his name, is it Robert Soul or something, Soul, or, ah, he's a good writer, anyways, good writer, but, um, or Charles Soul, yeah, I think, I can't remember, Anyways, uh, then number three of Lando, which is really cool cover because you got the Imperial Guard in the background with Lando Fawn, so that looks pretty neat. And then Lando number four, which looks pretty good too, because I don't know who this guy is, but it looks pretty neat. And I guess he's looking at a hologram of uh, Lando, so interesting. And then we've got a Journey to Star Wars The Force Awakens. You got Star Wars Shattered Empire, which I guess this takes place right after Return of the Jedi. So this should be pretty cool, and this is the first issue, so really interested to check this out. But anyways, I had to look at my comic pickups. Um, I was kind of going to distance myself from the comic book community and just comics in general, but, you know, it's kind of like the mafia. You're always going to kind of belong to it and have to kind of get back in. And um, another shout-out to a good brother out there, Daring Doodads. He's also a big comic book fanatic and a good guy and good videos. And, um, yeah, so, um, y'all, uh, either read them or don't, but, um, love some comics. All right, later, y'all. And, uh, later to my good brothers on here, uh, Brian Starner of Toy Nuts and Overlord of Overlord Toy Reviews. 
uh, find their channels and if they comment and you don't know who they are you see their comments on here go subscribe to their channel because they're good bros and awesome friends all right later y'all